friends, my name is Mr. Cruz. Hello, Mr. Cruz. Hello, hello. So today we're going to be counting in groups. We need to learn how to do this because it makes counting a lot faster and a lot easier. Okay, once you learn how to do this, you can count a lot faster. Alright? And as you get older, you're going to need to count in groups more and more to do things that you do every day, okay? Like things that I do, right? Things that your parents do. Yeah. Things that your uncles do and your aunts, right? So make sure you pay close attention. We need to learn this. You might not get it perfect today, but today is the day you start learning this, okay? So here's an example of a way that you can count in groups real easy, okay? It's called an array. And I'm gonna show you all how to use an array in just a minute. The point is that this looks a lot neater than this over here, okay? This is disorganized, right? In this case, you would probably have to count one by one, right? So how would you rather count? In groups, in something neat, or in something sloppy? Good neat. Right? Can you raise his hand, guys, Albert? Something neat. Something neat, right? So I had a situation when I was in high school, when I was like between 15 and 18 years old, I had to work. No, no, no drinking water right now. Okay, sorry. Yes, Jamie? Why did you work in high school? I had to work in high school. That's a good question. I had to work in high school because I needed to help my family. I needed to help my family, and I had to do my job right. If I didn't do my job right... You go to jail. Maybe not no, you get fired. You have to raise your hand, Brian. You have a warning. No, hands down, hands down. I'm talking, okay? So... I had to work to help my family, right? And I had to do my job right. But when I started working, I realized that I wasn't making enough money. So I had to figure out a way to make more money. And the way I could do that was by doing harder things, right? So my boss told me, my, my supervisor, the person in charge of me said, hey, if you can keep track of something called the inventory, inventory, I can pay you more. So I said, cool, I want to learn, right? But for inventory, it's pretty much you step into a refrigerator or into a big closet full of food, and you keep track of everything you have. Yes, Jocelyn. I'm explaining that right now, okay? Just listen, okay? So in the inventory, when you keep track of inventory, you keep track of everything you have, right? So if I had to keep an inventory of how many kids I had, right now I would say, okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, right? That, that's, that, that would be counting you guys one at a time. But if I know that there's four of you in each table, I would go 4, 8, 12. Which one was faster, the first one or the second one? The second one. Second. Second? Okay, good. The second one. Okay. Anyway, I, I had to learn, I had to be able to count a bunch of cans at the same time. And I had competition. There was another guy that was trying to do the job that I wanted to get. Right? So, I... Started thinking, okay, well, how do I do this? How do I do this? So I went into the storage room where we had all the cans, and Justin, you need to pay attention, all right? Where we had all the cans and all the containers, and I tried counting everything one at a time, just how I did right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Everything was all over the place, right? So I figured, hey, I'm not gonna get the job because my boss is not gonna like it. So I thought, okay, well, how do I do this? So I would go home, and I was thinking, okay, how do I do this? How do I do this? And I got some cans that I had, and they were all neat, neatly organized. So I said, okay, how, how do I count things faster? And, I, and then I remembered when I was in elementary school, just like all of you, that I could count in groups, okay? I did a faster way of multiplication, but to start off in a, in a more simpler way, I counted how many rows I had by how many, and, and I also counted the columns, okay? Who knows what a row is? It is kind of like a section, you're right. Carol? It's a line. It's a line. And which way does this line go? Can you show me with your hand? Does it go this yes. way or that, uh, this way? Yes. It goes down? No, it goes this way, okay? From right to left, okay? So, this is a row, okay? Okay? So, how 
How many rolls do I have here? Albert. Five. No, three. Three rolls. So, and what's a column? Does anybody know what a column is? Actually, let me see. Hannah, what's a column? You don't know? Okay. Albert? Um, the, the column means when you try to find something, then you... No, not exactly. Anybody else knows what a column is? Carol, put your head up. No? Okay, a column is kind of like a line, like Carol said. But it goes up and down. Okay. So a column. That must be a word. You can raise your hand, Albert. It goes up and down. Right. So Valerie, how many columns do I have here? Uh, really? Five. Five columns. Yeah, that's right. One. So that's my first step in counting things a lot faster. Right? This is taking time because we're we're going step by step, right? But once you know how many number how many rows you have, you know how many numbers you're going to add. And then once you count the columns, that's the number you're going to add by. Okay? So five columns, so we're gonna add five plus five plus five. Okay? Who knows how to count by fives? Who knows how to count by fives? Jamie, can you count by fives for me? 10, 20, 30. No, no, you're counting by 10. Counting by 10. Count by fives. Bethany. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so count by fives only three times. 5, 10, 15. 15. Okay? So, do that one more time. 5, 10, 15. Just say it. 5, 10, 15. 5, 10, 15. Okay, now, Jocelyn, count to 15 from 1 to 15. One at a time. 1 to 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, you need to practice counting by all the numbers. All right? So, back to my story. I go to work the next day, and my boss is going to test me. So, what do I do? I go in the storage room, and I think, I'm going to do this fast, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this right. So, I was able to count everything, the entire inventory, like I said earlier. I was able to do everything in five minutes. Five minutes? Five minutes. Did you finish it all? All of it. And Juanito, the guy I was going up against, the, uh, my, my, my co-worker, he took 12 minutes. Juanito, uh, Who do you think? Yeah, it's true. Who do you think got the job? Who would you give the job to, Angel? Uh, the person that could do the job in five minutes or 12 minutes? Five minutes. Five minutes, right? So... This is pretty much it right here. Now we're gonna make sure that all of you remember the terms, all right? So, but before we do that, let's let's try to count something scattered like this. Brian, you think you count this real easy? Can you count it from over there? No, right? Carol, can you count it from over there? Yeah? Well, what's gonna be easier, to count this or to count this? That, that one. This one, right? Okay, same thing, right? Five, 10, 15. Five plus five plus five is the same thing as something else. Okay. Five plus five. Raise your hand. Same thing as a multiplication problem. What is it, Haley? Now five times five. Albert? Five times fifteen. No. Five times Five times three. Three, right. Thank you, Joseph. Happy for you. Five times three equals fifteen, right? So if you want to count in groups, you can do it even faster by multiplication. You just have to multiply the number of rows, one, two, three, by the number of columns, one, two, three, four, five. If you know your times table, 15. Carol. Stand up, get up, no, stand up. Okay, so.
So, real quick, we're going to have a little quiz. Alfonso, which way does a row go? A row. Which way? Show me your hands. No? Uh, you pay attention. Brian. This way. This way, right? Oh, God. Okay, okay, you got it. All right. And Jocelyn, which way does a column go? Huh? Up and down. All right, good. So I'm going to do one more problem up here. And then we're done? And then we're done, yeah, and then we're done. Here you go. So how many rows do I have, Brian? How many rows? Uh, Albert? Four. Four rows. And how many columns? Angel. How many? Four. Four, right? So four and four. Four and four. Eight. Right? So who knows how to count by fours? Joseph. Four. Sixteen, right? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, right? That's a lot easier than one, two, three, four, five, six, right? All the way till you get sixteen? Yeah. Okay, good. So that's it. Okay, we're I'm gonna about to give you I'm about to give you all a handout. Okay, it's gonna be pretty easy, it's gonna start off easy, it's gonna be a little bit a little bit harder. Okay? You all did good. Thank you.